So what the heck is actually the difference between a brand designer and a marketing designer? These are the two main job titles that we see for non-product design roles in tech. And I wanna share my thoughts on some of the subtle differences between them today. As you probably know by now, because I go on about it all the time, <laughs> I have a series called Inside Marketing Design where I interview designers who work on the growth slash marketing slash brand side of design and tech companies. I really need an easier way to say that, but basically I mean anything but the product. But in this space, it is a fairly even split between my guests of having the title of marketing designer or brand designer. And I see this on my job board too, that there are a lot of different ways to describe similar roles. Some postings have brand design in the title, some marketing, some actually have both. And then I also notice this one that's just simply designer. So I guess that's one way to avoid the issue of figuring out what the differences are. We don't seem to have a consensus in the industry around what these roles mean and how they differ or if they differ at all. But let me tell you how I see it. To me, a brand designer focuses on creating and developing the visual brand of a company and any of their like various sub brands, like conferences or publications. The brand and maintaining consistency and standards with it is like the purpose of the role. But for a marketing designer, however, the focus is mostly on designing marketing materials that help to reach potential customers and convince them to sign up for or like purchase a product. So while they'll be applying a company brand, obviously to these materials, the focus of the role is on conversion and achieving marketing metrics. Personally, I think the two should go hand in hand and in every role that I've had in the tech industry, I've actually been responsible for both sides of things. I don't think we can design good solid brands, for example, in a vacuum without them being applied to things like a website or imagery. And we also can't really be effective with our marketing without brand consistency and standards. In my experience, companies tend to pick one or the other in terms of a title. Their teams are either brand designers or they're marketing designers. But I have come across a few companies that actually have both roles on the team, which is super interesting to me because by having these two separate roles, they are defining a difference between them. One of those companies that do have both brand and marketing designers on the team is Instacart. And I spoke with Monica Galvan, who is a senior marketing designer there for a recent episode of my show. And I asked her to describe what the difference is for Instacart between these two roles. Let's roll the clip. So I know at Instacart, you have brand and marketing designers on the team, right? Your title is senior marketing designer there are also people on the team whose title is brand designer. What is the difference between those two for Instacart? Yeah, at Instacart, we have three brand designers, six total marketing designers, including myself, but three mm -hmm. of those are more on the CRM side. So I can briefly talk about all three of those subsections because we're kind of building out our team in like these pod structures so that we're focusing okay. on different things. I guess we're building out like a social pod and we're even going to hire designers that are specifically working on that, really growing out these little specialties. So the brand designers, they are working on things, obviously on the brand, um, things mm -hmm. that are kind of like paving the way of the voice and tone and the look and feel of the brand. A lot of them in the past have worked a great deal on illustration because Instacart was a very illustration heavy brand. So they would be the one that would work on new illustrations and really cultivating that style. And they're continuing to evolve that. So Instacart's kind of in like a, a rebrand right now. And so we're working with an agency on that rebrand. I have no idea about the timelines on that, probably next year kind of, but they're working with them on that, uh, okay. on like photo shoots and developing the style and really being in on those meetings uh, to get feedback. So I know that's a big part of their project. One of the brand designers is located in Canada, so he works on a lot of the things on the enterprise side in Canada. So those are kind of the main things that they're working on, but of course they also help out on uh, other marketing projects. So marketing designers, essentially I would say the big difference between brand and marketing designers is that marketing designers work on things that are driven by a marketing budget. There's money behind it, whether it be, you know, paid advertisement ads, 
TV, out of home, billboards. It, it could be anything. And, and we've worked on a great variety of that over the past um, year and a half. So yeah, things that are driven by money and performance. Monica's description of the differences here makes a lot of sense to me. And I can totally see how in larger companies, and Instacart is around like 3,000 people right now, so it's a pretty big company, it does become more efficient to split these two functions out into two separate roles. But I am so curious to hear what you think about all this. If you're in one of these roles, are you called a brand designer, a marketing designer, something else? And is that the title you prefer or would you prefer your title was something different? Do you agree with mine and Monica's descriptions of what the differences are between them? Please leave a comment and fill me in. I have talked about this on Twitter before and loved reading the replies like this one here from David, who is a design director at Webflow and this one here from Alex, who I used to work with. Hi Alex, if you're watching. Personally, I prefer the title marketing designer, partly because like Alex described, I feel like when I say brand designer to anyone working outside of tech, they think it essentially means designing logos. But mostly for me, I prefer marketing designer because just like a product designer focuses their efforts on improving the product, I'm focusing my design work on improving our marketing. I do work on evolving our brand too, of course, and that is really important. But the end goal of the brand work that I do is still marketing. I find a lot of joy in designing a B test to improve conversion rates and like thinking about the user journey on our marketing website more than I enjoy thinking about color palettes and choosing the right fonts or illustration style, for example. I'd rather be applying a visual brand than creating it, if that makes sense. But I mean, now my title is creative director anyway, so I kind of don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Please do share your thoughts in the comments. I really do want to know what you think about this. And you should also go check out the latest episode of Inside Marketing Design to learn more about both brand and marketing design at Instacart. So click, uh, wait, is it this side? Click here to go watch that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.